Do you know your profit margin and if you're actually profiting on Amazon? What about your other important KPIs? Hey, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena and in this video, I'm gonna be going over a tool that we use called Zonguru that gives us a very clear picture of all of our sales, all of our advertising, a breakdown of every important KPI that we need to see to make important decisions with the direction of our account. There are a lot of features in Zonguru that we like, but one of the main features that I like and that I wanna go over today is the dashboard, is the reporting side of Zonguru. As a quick review, you do have these sections over here, which you can check out, dig into these a little bit, learn about them a little more. And we'll also be going into these a little more in later videos. But again, I wanna focus mainly on the dashboard today. And if you guys do decide to check it out in depth a little further, I'll leave a discount link down below where you can get 10% off the entire first year or 25% off the first month. So check that out if you're interested. But yeah, let's jump right into this for now. So within the dashboard, one of the main things I want you to pay attention to is, you know, this is pulling in all of the data. This is pulling in everything that you need to see in a nice, clear, organized fashion from Amazon Seller Central. You're going to be able to see a complete breakdown of all the important costs, whether it be the advertising, the fees, again, cost of goods, breakdown of your exact advertising costs across the sponsored products, sponsor display, sponsored brands, and sponsored brand video, and promos and rebates, if you're doing any of those, all of your refunds, and again, back up here with the fees, actually seeing you know, your selling fees, service fees, all that good stuff. So you can really understand, you know, what are your costs and get a really good, clear picture of that for your account. And of course, last but not least, being able to see your profit, your actual profit after all said and done and your margin. But yeah, let's jump back up here to the top. So of course you can select different time ranges. You could do a custom date range, anything you like there. You could check different marketplaces, different currencies, and you could actually select multiple different products. So you just select that pull down and you can add in whatever ASINs. So if you just wanted to look at one ASIN, two ASIN, three ASINs, you can just search from that drop down and pull in. Say for example, you wanted to see the numbers for your top three variations altogether for this product only. So you could just pull that in and take a look at that only or for just the one product. And all this will change according to that. So just as an example, I'll just pull in one here and we can see, so this is just looking at one ASIN here. This is actually a pretty important ASIN for this account, like almost half of the revenue. So we can see just the metrics drawn out just for that product. Okay, so we'll get rid of that for now. And jumping down here, and of course, just giving you a good idea of all your main metrics across the top, again, according to that date range, so you can get a quick picture of what's going on. And another really cool thing is you can actually get a, a rough idea of what your business would be valued so next another cool thing i want to show you here is the chart and the way you can get like a, a good like month over month over whatever time period comparison down here on this chart right now i've got gross revenue net profit and then previous revenue and previous net profit pulled up here so you can just like for example the net profit in bright yellow and the previous net profit kind of more of a faded yellow down here so we can kind of see you know the brighter yellow in comparison over time, over that 30 days, what our progress is, if any, or if we're maintaining. And some other metrics you can look at, for example, we can pull up items sold, organic sales, paid sales, advertising costs, product pulse events, and do a comparison with the previous time period for those. And for product pulse events, we'll get into that in a later video. Now, the other cool thing is the sales breakdown. Now, this is really good to give you a quick picture of just what you're spending. So roughly for this account, we're 21% of all sales is coming from paid and 78% from organic. And you know, this is a mature account. So this makes sense. This looks healthy for if it was a newer account, maybe we would be okay with like 75% paid, for example, but roughly a more mature account, 20, 30%. That's a good healthy range for paid sales. And here we can take a look at the ACOS, the advertising cost of sale, and the ACOTS, which is the advertising cost of total sales. It's basically the tacos. They just you know refer to it in a different way. And here we can take a look at the inventory. And of course, we have some other comparisons that they give you down here. Best or worst, 
best revenue, best profit margin, best net profit, best refund rate, best ROI, best total A costs. Um, you get the idea. And yeah, you can just switch that here if you wanted to reverse that. Okay, especially when you're talking about refund rate, you want to see who's doing the worst. Okay, so you can switch that. And down here, we can see the latest reviews. So again, this is all very valuable to get a clear picture of where your product stands as far as profits, to be able to make a high level decision on like if something's wrong, okay? So we can actually see like if our, our net profit margin was, you know, really low, okay, we need to dig in and figure out what the problem is there. We need to see what's going on if like maybe we lost the buy box on an important product from there. We could look and see if, you know, we ran out of inventory on one of our best sellers and all that good stuff. Of course, you'd also see that in the sales, overall sales. So just lots of things to look at there. But one of the best things I want to show you here, and this is going to be really important if say you have a business partner or you're just managing the advertising for someone else or you have a whole team and you need to make a presentation to them about how the account is performing say you work for a more mature brand a bigger company and you need to give them a clear picture of everything you can go ahead and download this report you can click this report here and i really like this because we've worked with a lot of different dashboards and this is one of the things that we see that is missing from a lot of them is being able to take all the good data because other platforms may have good data but being able to just extract that and like put that into a clear report and not have to take a bunch of screenshots and like piece things together this does it all for you okay so once you do that i have already pulled up in another tab here and you're basically going to get this report clear and simple so this is just looking at the 30 day date range and we can come down here and it's basically pulled in all those high level kpis Okay, as we saw on the main dashboard, breaking down all the different costs, advertising costs, showing your cost of goods, your net profit, profit margin, kind of giving you just a nice graph showing you the important metrics that we wanted to look at. And of course, yeah, paid versus organic. And this is something that a lot of companies want to, you know, understand. They want to understand what exactly their percentage of the sales are coming from paid. Is it effective? Are they cannibalizing their organic sales? So they can look at this according to what they were doing in the past, maybe not going as aggressive on ads. If they're getting the same amount of overall sales after increasing the paid sales. Okay. So that's something to look at. Then of course here, bringing in the ACOS and total ACOS numbers. And this even goes a little bit further to break it down per ad type and showing your inventory and those same things that were on the dashboard here. So another cool thing is, I mean, you can easily, since it's a PDF, if this was too much info, you didn't want to present all these different things because this could be a lot to interpret. You can always just delete those pages from the PDF. So there you have it, guys. Definitely give Zonguru a try, whether you have one product or a ton of products. This is really going to help you get a clear picture of your account across all KPIs. And again, I'll leave a link down in the description below for a discount on that. And until next time, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.